Hi, this is KHT Cedar and I'm going to teach you my method of how to ride a hobby horse without holding a stick. This is the first version of this technique using the materials that I have here and now and it will definitely be improved as far as materials but it works really well for me and I hope that it works really well for you. So firstly, I would like to show you how I make it. So I used a strap that's somewhat like a dog leash and it has two clips at the end and it's adjustable. So this is what it looks like extended. It's about 75 centimeters long or 29 and a half inches long. And this rope is smaller. It's kind of like a shoelace. This is what it looks like extended. It's not as long as the other one. It's 57 centimeters or 22 and a half inches long. So the first thing you do is aim for about eight centimeters or just over three inches below the base of the hobby horse neck. And this is where you would start the rope wrapping process. You tie the rope, the small rope, in a knot, a double knot, just make it really tight. And then you wrap it about 10 times, eight to 10 times, and then you do another knot at the top. It could be double knotted if you want. Then you take the clip and you kind of have to work with the rope because it'll be tied pretty tight, but you get the second to lowest rope loop and you clip it onto that. And this is where the majority of the weight will be held up. So then you can squish all the rope together a little bit more to tighten it. And lastly, you tie a knot once on the clip just to keep the extra rope out of the way if you have extra rope. And for the other end of the rope, you just clip it to the bridle and it's easy to store it out of the way. And you're done. This is your reins only, not holding the stick hobby horse technique. And if you want to undo this, it's very fast and easy. You just untie the knot at the top of the clip and then you unclip the clip, unwrap it, untie the double knot and take all the rope off. And there you go. So to see it in action, I just unclip the clip. I put the stick between my legs, then I take the strap and wrap it halfway around my waist, and then my arm actually grabs it on the other side, squeezes it into my body, and then with the other arm, I take the clip, and I bring it to the other clip, and clip it on, just like that. I just take my shirt out of the way, and now it's holding all the weight of the stick and the head and there you go it's wrapped neatly around my waist and if you want to adjust this you can move it in any direction to make it more comfortable for you and there you go and the only disclaimer is that depending on the thickness of the stick it may be uncomfortable for that area of your body and so i actually use padded shorts because of how thin the stick is and it doesn't bother me at all but just keep this in mind so it may or may not be comfortable but this is just what i discovered so padded shorts work very well for this so when you want to take this off you just drop the reins take the clip unclip it hold the stick in the other hand take the rope and clip it and so to see this from another angle, I just unclip it from the bridle, put the stick between my legs, take the rope, put it halfway around my waist, squeeze my other arm into the rope, take the clip, clip it on, and then I get my shirt out of the way. And another thing I would do is actually take that strap and put it on top of my pants so it doesn't rub on my skin. But in this demonstration, I just quickly showed you how fast and easy it is. And so you just grab the reins and go. And so once you've finished riding and you want to take it off, you just drop the reins, unclip the clip, hold the stick in the other hand, extend the rope out, get the stick out from under you and clip the clip to the bridle and there you go. So I really hope that this helps. Please feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions about how to do this and I'd be so happy to help. And so here are a couple videos of me jumping and galloping with this technique. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for updates for this technique because I will upgrade the materials used, but it definitely works for me. It works very well. I'd be really curious to see how well this works for you too, so feel free to reach out. So thank you so much. This is KHT Cedar and stay tuned for more.